Hey guys, we're back with sales for Monday. This is my beautiful wife, Linda. We're going to go over what sold on our e-commerce online business. Since I can't say eBay sales anymore, I'm trying to remind myself. Anyways, we buy stuff, we sell it online, we make money, hopefully lots of profits. Sometimes not as much, but sometimes crazy good profits that help us just have the life we have now. So we're going to go over what sold for us this Monday, babe. So we, we had 14 sales in total across two different platforms and those totals came up to just under $430. We'll take it. And the one that went on Poshmark, which is the only, yeah. everything else was on eBay. Yeah, our one sale on Poshmark was this 14 inch Yaquin, Jaquin, Jaquin. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a plush. It's a plush, Elena of Avalor plush. Yeah, is that a Disney show, I think? It is, I guess. So it's a Disney store uh, toy and it sold for $22 plus shipping. Yep, so I just cross-posted that like a week or two ago. We've been testing some plush on Poshmark because I watched another YouTuber. I forgot who it was and I apologize for not remembering. They told me that, or they didn't tell me. They told me. The video is for me. No, but <laughs> in the video they said that uh, plush sometimes does sell well on Poshmark, certain ones. Now for eBay. So our first sale is this Snoop Dogg 2017 hoodie from something it was a merch from 2017 so not sure if it was a specific I think tour I or something no i don't know maybe but it was not that old that's for no. sure but it did sell for 30 dollars shipped and it is a size medium it was a uh, two dollar lay then we've got this sensi apron um for uh the like those mlms people do um but this one does have the tags on it still and it did sell for 37 and a half shipped um, that was out of a big lot of Scentsy stuff I got from somebody. Yeah, so we're still making money on it. We don't have much left, though. I mean, we mm -hmm. may have a couple little pieces left, I think. I think all those ones are gone. There's a couple little things is in there. Is there little ones in yeah, there? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Everything else is gone. Okay. And then we got a posture pump. This is the posture pump 2000. It's it was returned. We sold this once already, and the person returned it, and they said, um, just I decided I didn't need it. And I'm ah. like, cool. And it is going global shipping program this time, and it sold for fifty dollars shipped. Fifty bucks shipped on its way out of here. Uh, we sold another one of these, a different, a different model. We had both of them. The other one did sell without issues. So yeah. this one we're we'll probably just making our money back on the lost shipping cost. Then we got a lot of four big rigs. Haulers here. What do we got? Haulers. These haul. Dale we have Dupont, Lowe's. This is Kellogg's. Kellogg's. This is Budweiser. So yeah, they just go with the specific things. Then we got a Jimmy Johnson cool. one. We got a Jeff Gordon one. I don't know who number five is. Hendrix Motorsports is what it says. So. Yeah. I'm not really a NASCAR expert. No. But these came in a big NASCAR buy. I'm probably in them for about a hundred bucks. And I got a couple other things with them. Um, I forgot what else I got with them, but I remember I bought a bunch of stuff. But all the NASCAR stuff's right up here is why we're looking. These sold for? These sold for $54 shipped. Pretty good. Happy to see them go. And then this. Next up, we have a limited edition commemorative plate for Barack Obama. Uh, President Barack Obama, I'm sorry. And that one is from 2008, and it sold for $19 shipped. Yep. I did not think this would ever sell. It came out of the rock and roll buy, I think, but... I just was thrown in there. I'm surprised it even sold because there was a lot of them listed, but whatever. Somebody wanted it. Yep. Then we've got a CD. This is Merle Haggard, Out Among the Stars, and it sold for $24 shit. Good deal. $24 bucks out of a $10 or a $5 or $10 CD buy. It's one of the only ones that was valuable. <laughs> Next up, we got Lord of the Rings for PS3 without the manual, and it sold for $17 shipped. And we've got, this is a wall professional five star legend clipper. It's, you can tell it's quality by the weight. This is good. Yeah, it's super heavy, um, which sucks for shipping, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. But it did sell for $45. Shipped. I want to say I spent 10 on this, 10 or 12 bucks at a garage sale. Then we got some sludge reducer. We had a bunch of this for a while, this little sludge pond reducer or whatever. Yeah. Oh, we had probably um, six of them. I got them all for like five bucks a whole bag. And this one sold for? This one sold for $12 shipped. So yeah, pretty easy multi-quantity listing. I think this is the last one though. There's one more? Yeah, there might be another one in there. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Then uh, the $700 manual buy. We got a 94 Honda Accord manual. And that one sold for $30 shipped. 30 buckaroos. This one was weird. Next up we got a Ninja Pro System blade it's a four blade so yep. look at that that you can do some serious slicing and dicing with that thing it is going global shipping program and it sold for 21 dollars shipped and then our last sale last one for now we have foreigner 
alive and rocking. Love at the bang of your head. <laughs> but, oh, excuse me? Where are we it's from? All for nine dollars ship. Nine bucks. Happy to see you go. That's all we got right now, guys. Uh, Linda or I might be back if something else sells. We'll definitely see you guys in the next clip here coming up with what sells on Tuesday, though. So stay tuned. Bye bye. Hey guys, we're back with the sales for Tuesday. You just saw Monday's clip. Uh, a couple things to add in there. We sold a San Diego Aztecs um, crew neck sweatshirt. Paid a dollar. It sold for thirty five shipped, going to someone in California. Probably someone going to that college maybe this year. Who knows? Mm -hmm. And then we also sold a click. I um clicker. I think is the brand. The click one or the click two or whatever. It's a garage door remote. Um, you'll see on the screen that was a dollar or two at a garage sale that sold for 25 shipped. I've done pretty well selling garage door remote replacement ones. Um, they will sell. So that's all we got for yesterday. We're going to jump into today's sales. Babe, how did we do? So today this we This is had... Linda, also known as Babe. Temp from me only. Yeah. If you call her Babe, that might be weird. Yeah. So anyways, we had 16 sales for a total of 720 today. 720, so a great day. A couple of bigger ticket ones going out here, which is awesome. And something even Linda was surprised that sold for so much. So we'll talk about that. Uh, let's get into the first item. This one's been waiting for a payment for... Okay, so this guy is a Hasbro Transformers um, Beast Hunter. And he sold for 15 and some change. So his wing must have fell off in the box of toys he was in. So we'll have to grab that. He was from a Transformers bio from a while ago. So the guy took like a week and a half or something to pay. I didn't cancel listing. I was not on top of it. But the guy messaged me and said, thank you so much for waiting. I appreciate it. So that was nice of him. Glad, he or she, I'm glad they bought it. Hopefully they enjoy it. This was a crazy one from our, one of our local thrifts. You can't really see the brand, but it's kind of a crazy jean pair. Yeah, so these are just Cavalli. Cavalli? Cavalli? Maybe Cavalli. I don't Cavalli. know. Cavalli. That's an Italian brand. So We're not um, from Italy. Just Cavalli men's distressed jeans. Um, they are new at tags. Um, we did get them at our local Salvation Army. and eight, bu eight bucks, I believe. Eight or nine bucks. And we sold them for $100 shipped. You gotta go back there because I did really well in clothing when I went there that day. Yeah, um, we did. We got a couple of DVDs, I think some clothing and maybe a pair of shoes, maybe, but mostly clothing, but it was good. So those were listed for like 125 Sent an offer out for 100 Someone jumped on them. They're expensive jeans, apparently. Here's the other item, which is kind of one of the bigger ones going out. This is a big below. This... You can find this video game. You're in the money. Literally. This is haunting broken haunting ground. Uh, haunting ground's the game. It is haunting a, ground P for PS2. Okay? Like this so you can see it. Um, it doesn't have the no manual. manual or anything. It's just the disc and, and the case. You can see this is like water damage. Yeah, it's bad. And hopefully, maybe you can't see it, but it is the artwork. But Cameron's copy is no good. It does not work. Uh, it was super scratched up. I ran it through disc cleaner one time just to see, and it looks better. But after one time through the disc cleaner, still would work. Uh, I don't want to go too many more times through the disc cleaner because eventually it just games won't even work if they've gone through it too much in my yeah. experience. Uh, I had a PS2 Slim here that's a pretty good read. It reads most discs, even scratched ones it'll read, and it won't pick this one up at all. It'll pick a bunch of other ones that are totally scratched. It wouldn't pick it up before I clean it, and it wouldn't pick it up after I cleaned it. So, so we did list it as auction. no good one it, on auction. This sells working. 250 300 ship maybe more it's yeah. a very very valuable game i sold an auction 9999 99 i bought a whole stack of games for 10 bucks there may have been a couple other games worth selling but this was in there i'm like well if i get 100 bucks i'm happy and it sold for 103.50 so no 103.50 yeah, exactly. 103.50 yeah 103.50 that's right um why someone buys it linda asked why would someone buy a broken game this is a rare game if you want to have a complete collection you're never going to play it you might buy it, spend 100 bucks on a game that's worth 300 and put it on your shelf until you get the right one or just to have it there because your neighbors and friends might not know that it's not working. You may just tell them they could never play it and it just shows up there. <laughs> um, additionally, maybe you have a PS3 that's backwards compatible, probably has a little bit stronger lens, or maybe you think you're going to get it better. Obviously, there is a little risk that someone goes and buys it, doesn't work on theirs, and they return it, but the listing was pretty clear, so if that happens... Literally, it says, broken, as is, won't play, parts repair. <laughs> try to be pretty clear, and it's in the um, it's in the description and everything, too. So, it is a game, though, to look out for. Haunting Ground, very valuable. Next. Next up, we have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Ooh, Turtles cool. watch. It's Michelangelo. Sold. It's from 1988, sold as is, so it doesn't really work so good. No, I think there's something wrong with the battery compartment on it, but... Uh, that's cool. It's a cute little guy. Yeah. And, he's and so it sold for $16 shipped. 16 bucks going out first class. The funny thing is, I was looking for a figure because it doesn't say watch in the listing. Huh. 
The title does not say watch. That's a Cameron boo-boo right there. So I was like, there's no stinking figure. What is he talking about? And then I picked, I yeah, opened up the pictures. The guy's an idiot. And I'm like, it's a freaking watch. Like, yeah, what the and heck? That should be listing, guys. Don't copy me. Sometimes <laughs> like, late at night, I list, I list at nighttime after yeah, we're done we do. with the video. It's, it's like late at night. Midnight. She's basically passed out. Like yesterday, she was passed out, and I was still listing. So sometimes weird stuff happens when you're listing at night. <laughs> Next item. Next item, we have a cold weather coat. It's a desert camo. The worst uh, kind of cold jacket. weather to get. Desert camo. But it sold for thirty five dollars shipped. But it's big. It's an XL regular. I think which it is was, a bigger size, obviously. It was like five bucks. Sold for thirty five. The, the the woodland ones or the navy parka ones that are like the blue ones. Those ones will sell much better if they're the cold weather coats. The desert camo does not sell as well. But it did sell. Made some money. Happy to see it go. Next and, up, we got a vintage Presto oh, Wee Fry. I'm always one ahead because I look at the top of this. This is from a little uh, community a sale. Cute little electric skillet. It is kind of adorable looking. It is. Like you want to make just like, like yourself a little bit of breakfast and it's just you. Your little studio perfect. apartment, you know, you pull your little wee fry. You're like, hey, perfect. let's fry some stuff just for me. I'm lonely. It's perfect. Kind of embarrassing, but if you're that lonely. Yeah, but it doesn't take up space. You can still have stuff that people with a full size skillet It did can come have. with a gruff manual. Yeah. It's definitely used. Definitely. I paid five bucks for it at a community sale and it sold for 55 ships. This one will be a little bit of a bear to ship. It was just too cute for me to pass up. I'm like, someone wants the that. bottom won't be the issue, it's that glass top. Yeah, let me be bubble wrapped and probably inverted in the unit yeah. like that and then bubble wrap the whole thing together. She'll be able to figure it out or I'll do it if she doesn't want to. Next to the $700 manual buy, this is a 2000 Honda S2000 ETM. ETM, ETM yeah. Sold for $40 shipped. We've got three of those, so yeah, we'd like cool. to sell some more. Next up, we got a vintage can of 70 to 80s extra dry aerosol antiperspirant. I love the little ad on the bottom. It was like be before acts kind of thing where it's like, oh, your girl will want you yeah. if you use this. <laughs> but it did sell for $23 shipped. This one has to go ground. Because it's uh, aerosol. aerosol. Yeah, so it has to be shipped ground. Let's keep that in mind. Made a little bit of money. That's from that dead stock buy we keep talking about. It's been yeah. very profitable for us. I gotta message that guy back. His name's Dennis. And then next up, we've got a military chemical protect protective overgarment co coat. This is a large regular. It's it like, is a uh, vacuum packed, yeah, literally. Like, like you could hurt somebody yeah. with it. It is it's like hard. hitting them with a the textbook. Yeah, it's bad. I was like, oh, these aren't good. But it'll be easy to ship because it's already vacuum packed. You can just slide it in whatever it'll fit in. But it did sell for twenty two and a half. We sold a bunch. So we used to sell like those for about 30, 35 bucks shipped. We had a bunch in a while back. This is before you were even doing videos with me. They had one that what didn't wasn't listed and I finally found and relisted and the price had dropped significantly. Next up we have an Imuto? 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 I don't know. Imuto. 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 Power Cube. Um, so this thing you take with you and it charges literally everything. That's a though. beefy thing right here. It's heavy. Yeah. And it comes with the... We did do it with the... Uh, it's like a cigarette inverter, charger. Inverter, yeah. yeah. So you can do it in your car. Um, there you go. This was from our local thrift store near us. I spent, I think, 15 on this or 20 and the other one was 6 bucks, something like that. And so I paid it up for them, but they are brand new. This one's brand new steel, the other one brand new open box. They sold for? 105 chips. Yep, they've only been up for less than a month, so that was a good buy. Next up, we have some original Teddy Ruxpin package inserts. So it come, it's got the warranty card, the manual, the care ads, all that cutesy stuff. Yeah. Um, and somebody wanted it, probably to complete their original one for $20.18. So I bought a Teddy Ruxpin and of course it didn't work. Those things are known for not working. I parted it out, sold the book separately, I think, and then some extra cassettes, and then I sold this. Uh, if you do have one that works, you know, the motor works or the, the tape plays, but maybe the eyes don't work or whatever, You, uh, one of my friends, Parrot Picker, he parted out the actual mechanism that works, the mo the cassette and everything. Like he was crazy, he took Surgery the whole thing apart. The bear? Yeah. So shout out to him if you want to do that. You can actually make money. He sold all the little parts and pieces and made what money. Someone offered me ten bucks a couple times for this and said it's not worth anything more, but we proved them wrong. So let the record show. <laughs> Those are the messages I want to save and like screenshot and send it to him. It's like, like cool if you don't want to oh. pay more, if you think it's only worth that much, but like I do do not try to bash my items and bash me and then expect me to make a deal with you. It's like yeah. just I don't need the money that bad. You can just go on your way, buddy. Anyways, next. Next up, this is a realistic Jetstream AM uh, aircraft pocket radio. Yep. Um, and it is a bestie buy. Spent a hundred bucks on a whole tub of stuff. Oh, I was like, um, 
Yeah, you're like she's like we got ripped off then. We spent bucks yeah, this it. item sold for twenty five ships. This came with a whole bunch of stuff. We probably got four hundred dollars worth of listings. And I think I have a couple things left. And again, twenty five shipped and it sold within a week. Next up, we got Shadow Man Two. Shadow Man Two: The Second Coming for mm -hmm. PS Two. No manual, sold for almost twelve dollars shipped. Yep, and this one is um, one that was clean with the disc. I can see some residue there. Next up, out of $700 manual buy, we have an 02 to 03 Honda CRV ETM. ETM. ETM day, sold for $50. Shipped. 50 bucks, nice. And then our best sale of the day, my friends, Chun Li. Chun Li plus. You can kick her like. From Street Fighter. That's crazy. Do you ever play Street Fighter? Um, Get out of here. Uh oh. Get out of here. Sold for $9 shipped. Oh, you can stay. She can stay, guys. I know a lot of you I'm like sure her. I have. Anyway, it's got a little mark on the front that didn't get come out, but she's a cool little plush, and she was like 50 cents, so. That's all we got. But we may have just, I may have just bought a plush that's worth 150 bucks for $2, so. You might that see that in the coming video. No, that's a different plush that might be worth $107. Uh, the one from Foster's Imaginary. Oh, home that for imaginary one. Friends. Okay. So, that's your little tip there. That's all we got. Linda will be back if anything else sells. There is some time, or maybe me, and we'll both see you in the next video with that sells on Wednesday. So take care, guys. Bye bye.